Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today I have four different simple stamping card ideas to share with you. Now, these card ideas feature a very detailed stamp image, and I'm going to show you how to use that detailed stamp image without doing some intensive coloring. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have four different card ideas that I want to share with you that feature one of the very detailed stamps in the in the country stamp set from Stampin' Up. So this is the stamp set that I'm featuring and as you can see the images are very detailed. Now you can do some detailed coloring with watercolor pencils or whatever kind of coloring tools you want to use but today I'm going to show you how to use these without using those tools. Just some simple ways that you can stamp this image and create some beautiful cards. Now the cards also feature one of the images from the Sending Support stamp set from Stampin' Up. So both the Sending Support and the In the Country stamp set are celebration stamp sets, which means that you can earn these celebration sets for free with a qualifying purchase during celebration. So celebration is going to end at the end of February. So I thought I would just showcase both of these stamp sets for you today since one of the stamp sets does not have greetings in it, which is the in the country. I thought it paired perfectly with this particular stamp set that has lots of different greetings that you can use in your card making. Okay, so let me show you how to make these four cards. Now, basically, we're going to be using the exact same layout. I'm just going to change the focal point on each of these cards. So let's get started. Okay, the first card idea I have to share is really a monochromatic style card. So that means I basically used the exact same color with every little piece of embellishment or designer paper that I have on this particular card. So I will be using gray granite to complete all of the cards for today, but I'm gonna show you the basic layout for the card and then I'll show you how to create the focal point. So you're going to start with a piece of gray granite cardstock for the base of the card. And the base of the card is simply a five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock scored in the middle at four and a quarter inches to create the base of the card. The next thing I did is cut a piece of designer paper at two and a half by four and a half. So I'm using some of the Delicate Desert designer series paper for these particular projects, but you can use any pattern paper that you have on hand. The next layer for this card is just a piece of vellum. So this is two by three and a quarter inches. This is just a scrap piece of vellum that I had. So I'm just gonna layer this right behind this designer paper because I just want it to kind of peek out just a little bit. And then we'll just go ahead and add this directly to our card front. So that's the basic background that I'm going to be using for all four cards. So the next thing I did is just cut a shape that would fit my image. So I'm using one of the die cut shapes from the Desert Details bundle. So let me just show you the bundle quick. This is the bundle. This is the stamp set. And then on the inside, I have all the dies in here. And so I'm using this particular die that comes in this bundle. Now you can use any die set. You can use a rectangular shape or you can just cut a piece of cardstock that is about the size of the image or just a little bigger than the image. So what I'm gonna do is just ink up my image with some gray granite ink and then I'm just going to stamp it right in the center of this white cardstock. So now we'll just add some dimensionals to the back here, and then we will pop this right up on our card front. And I like using this particular design uh, with very detailed images because you can get the details from the image, but I don't have to color this all in and it just looks really beautiful in that monochromatic look. So the last thing I did is I just stamped one of those greetings from that Sending Support stamp set. I just stamped it on a scrap piece of paper, and then I just cut it out with one of the rectangular dies. 
So again, you can use any die set that you want to create your cards. And then for the finishing touch, I just added a couple milky dots right to this little die cut shape. All right, so that's it. That's how easy it is to create this design. And you can use any colors. Uh, you don't have to choose gray. So you can use any colors for the monochromatic look. Okay, for the second card design, it's very similar to the first card, except for this time, instead of using a white die cut shape for the center, we are going to use a die cut shape that is the same color as the card base. So this is gray granite. And basically what I'm gonna do is the exact same thing. I'm gonna take some gray granite ink and I'm gonna stamp it right in the center of this die cut shape. All right, and then we are going to use the exact same layout. So the same layout I shared before is what I'm using for this card. And then I just added some dimensionals to the back and then we'll just pop this up right on our card front. And then we will add our little greeting, which is the exact same greeting that I used on the first card. And then we'll just add a couple of milky dots and then we have a really beautiful card. So again, just another way to use this monochromatic design. And instead of using white cardstock, use your colored cardstock. Okay, so the third card design, we're gonna add a little bit of color. So we're gonna move away from the monochromatic look and we're gonna add some color without actually coloring the image. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So basically what I did is I just used the same die cut shape and I cut out a piece of that designer paper. So the Delicate Desert Designer Series paper has some fun little patterns in it and I thought it just gave it a really nice look. So we are going to just, again, stamp this image right in the center. And we are going to let the designer paper do all the work. So you can see all that color behind the image and it's just a great way to add color to the image without actually coloring it. So now let's go ahead and put our card together. So this time I added, instead of vellum, I added a piece of designer paper just to bring out more color. And now I just added some dimensionals to the back so I can go ahead and pop this up on the card and just look how beautiful that is. So now I'm just gonna add my greeting on the bottom here. And then we'll go ahead and add some embellishments and that's it. So notice how I'm using the exact same layout for all of these cards, but they are looking very, very different. All right, so that is card number three. Okay, and card number four is very similar to card number three. The only difference is instead of using designer paper, I did a little bit of blending with some ink in the background. So let me show you how to create this card. So basically what I did is I started with a four by five and a quarter inch piece of white cardstock. And then I took another piece of white cardstock and I cut out that design that I've been using for all of these cards. I cut out that die cut in the center of another four by five and a quarter inch piece because I wanted this to be kind of exact. So all I'm gonna do is just line up these pieces and then just tape this down onto a scrap piece of paper. It just makes it a lot easier for the blending. That way your cardstock doesn't move around. So to add color, these are the colors that I used. I used some soft succulent, some calypso coral, and some pale papaya. So I'm gonna start with the soft succulent. And we are just going to add this kind of to the top and the bottom. So I always start off the card stock and then just move on to my project. All right, and now I'm going to add some pale papaya. And I'm gonna use a smaller blending brush. There's actually two different size blending brushes. Um, so the smaller ones came out in the mini catalog. I do like the smaller ones because they're just, 
for me, they're just easier to manage. And then I'm going to add some Calypso Coral right across the center. All right, that looks pretty good. So now we can peel this off. And that is what we are left with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stamp that image right in the center here. So let's add some gray granite ink and we'll stamp this right in the center. And then I'm going to cut this image out using that die cut shape. You could actually use it this way on the card, but I wanted to make all the card layouts the same. So I'm going to cut that out and I'll be right back. All right, so here is what our die cut shape looks like, and this is all the sponging I did. So now you're probably wondering why I didn't just cut this piece out and sponge across it. A lot of times when there's the detailed stitching like we have on the sides here, when you sponge across that, you get some weird marks. So I always just kind of sponge it on a separate piece of paper and then just cut it out. So, so that's why I did that. So now we're ready to add this to our card front. And so... This piece just gets popped up with some dimensionals, and then, of course, we're going to add our same greeting on the bottom. And then the last thing I did is just add a couple of these little milky dots on the top here. So that is it. So sponging is a great way to add color to these detailed images without actually coloring the image. Okay, so there you go. Now you have four different ways that you can use any kind of detailed stamp image in your card making. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.